Hey guys, welcome back to another budgeting video. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Gracia. I'm a mom on a single low income and on this platform I share my financial journey with you guys. I share the good, the bad and the ugly, all right? And I keep it 100% real on this platform, no matter what. So we are gonna be going through our August expense tracking and we're also going to be doing our week three cash envelope stuffing also so we are about two weeks and four days in to my monthly budget i have not done an expense tracking i've just been out here living life okay but i don't want to fall behind so i did pre-film all of my sections put in the amount so we will talk it through because you guys know when i do it live I always get muddled up and things aren't calculating the way they should calculate and you know it ends up being an entire mess half the time so with all of that said don't forget to give the video a thumbs up thank you kindly it does help our channel out and subscribe I can guarantee that you are going to love it here so I've got me everyday carry here I'm just gonna pop that off to the side and we're gonna focus on our budget planner. I'm gonna flip through to the current page. And I did say to you guys, I'm going to share my increase because I did receive a financial increase. Glory to God, hallelujah, honestly. So I, I do wanna share that with you guys because you lot know I share everything, innit? So once again, a goal without a plan is just a wish. I love this quote. It's so true. Anywho, let's flip over to the page here. So this is my monthly overview per se. You've got my budget here and then I've got my little goals here. I didn't film this in when I initially did my budget. So I'm going to quickly go through it with you guys. So for this month's goal, I have set three goals that I know I could sort of complete to an extent. So I have set myself the challenge of having... 10 no spend days and this is for non-essential spending so we are not talking about buying groceries we're not talking about putting petrol in your car we're not talking about the everyday flow of your finances we're talking about impulse spending and just buying bullshit all right and if you look down here on my calendar i've done seven we've got one two three four five six seven no spend days so we've got three to go and we've smashed that goal we're going to try to get more than 10 but we'll see how that goes okay goal two was to sell 20 items on vintage or ebay it's not impossible but i've been in my lazy girl era okay i i've just been in bed i'm suffering from severe fatigue okay guys like literally i am i i don't i don't be having the, the energy to do nothing honest to god Anyway, we'll see how that goes. And the third goal is to stay on budget because you guys know I'm a motherfucker for going over the budget. Excuse my explicit language, but we're all grown adults here. Now, down to our checklist, I've just put things that I know could easily slip my mind. So I've listed pay Tesco credit cards, um, pay NatWest credit cards, got over my debt payoff plan and also weekly budget check-ins, which is what I'm doing now. Once again, my calendar is here. So what I've done, I've placed my stickers in. So you would see that I've got four paydays. So that's one, two, three, four paydays. This one was the unexpected income, which clearly it states here that we got 574 pounds and 45 pence increase. We were actually about 247, between 247 and 250 pounds negative right so we were minus that amount but we brought in a total of 2740 pounds 63 pence so we're very thankful for that but although we've got this amount of money we have to be very very smart with it i did increase my grocery budget by about 95 pounds k lines went up to 105 so i think i increased it to 30 pounds guys because it was the beginning of august and we had absolutely no money left. We went Costco. We've been cooking at home. We've had the odd takeout here and there. 
I'm not going to crucify myself for that. And I am trying my best not to get carried away because I am going to need some rollover money for the upcoming month because I am going to have a decrease in my income. So it's like you get it in one hand, baby, and they take it out the other hand, darling. So that's what's going to happen there. So I've got to be quite mindful of that. I can't be out here going on like I've got no common sense. All right. So that's that. I've logged all of my bills that are coming out on different dates. So we've got the gas bill that came in at 39.20. All right. And we've got the internet coming up on Monday. We've got our mobile bill coming up on Tuesday next week. And then the following week, Monday, we've got about three bills coming out just around here on the 21st. So, you know, everything is kind of flowing. And do remember that my bills are paid by direct debit. And for those of you who live across the pond or in other countries, I think you call it automated payments. We call it direct debit out here. So that's that. I am not going to go through filling this in because I want to leave this for the actual closeout. So we're going to flick over now to our expense tracking. Now, my mouth is probably moving faster than my brain because I don't want you beautiful people to be sitting here listening to me rant and rave and rattle and tattle about my finances. All right. So on this page to the left, I filled in all of my expenses from the 26th. No, from the 25th of July to the 8th of August, all right? So you can see everything that I've spent here. Take it in. I'm going to give you a little while to take it in. You can look at the description, the categories, the amounts. Get yourself familiarized with my spending habits, all right? Um, to be honest, I've not done bad, you know. I've not. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> Two weeks and four days in, I'll probably be on the third page and I'm just on the first page and a half. So that's not bad. So over here, all right, we've done our total spend. So we've currently spent £1,565.93 so far. So within two weeks and four days, right? That's how much money we spent. We've got £1,174.70 left. Now you could see down here we've got a little MS spend. This should have been on this bit, but I forgot it. So it's down here, so it will get calculated with the next influx of um financial tracking. So this is where we're at. I am actually proud of myself, so I'm gonna take a moment to applaud myself because usually I would I would have already been fucked this money up, okay. <laughs> I'm swearing a lot today, baby. Grown folk shit. But anywho, um, it's the month of my mom's death. I like to say it's the month of mom's death anniversary. You know how you've got an anniversary. So it's a death anniversary, the day she died. It's slowly approaching. And this is usually the month, July, August is usually the month that I go crazy and I do go a bit crazy around April time where, where it's dad's death. Remember, both my parents died the same year, about four months apart or so. So the way I cope with it, and it's not the healthiest way, is by spending. But to see that I've got things somewhat under control, and I do want to highlight that I did have a few meals here, where you see I've got three meals here, at 26 pounds and another three at 1920 you know that was my little splurge splurgy moment and i don't feel bad about it i don't feel bad about it i'm quite content with where i'm at within this budget for the month um my goal is to stay on course and not to go on a bender by any means necessary because i know what i'm like i know I know I have the urge, I'm an impulsive spender, I'm an emotional spender, and the list goes on. So this is where we're actually at, okay guys? So we're not doing too bad at all, if I should say so myself. So I'll leave it for you guys to get it in one more time, in case you missed anything, and then we're going to close this out, and we are going to get to 
our cash stuffing. So we've got our everyday carry here and I'm going to be taking my bank out and we're going to get on the way to doing our cash stuffing. All right. So you lot know I don't be messing around with the coins. So it won't be a full on true reflection of the amounts we've got. And when I say this, I mean, I've got 28.85 left for groceries, but you'll only see me stuffing 25 pounds. And Kaylan's got 43.87 left, but he's on a card. So that rings as true. And then miscellaneous, I've got 14 pounds left in miscellaneous, but you'll probably see me just stuff 10 pounds. Personal Kia, I've got 17.35 remaining, but you'll see me stuff 15. And household, I've got 12.33 remaining, but you'll see me stuff 10 pounds. So the coins are in this little jar that you guys saw me put together um, the other day. And I've actually written the amount that I've got in here. 13.56 so far. So not bad. It's like a little challenge where I'm saving my coins. So let's call it the save your coins challenge. All right, just do what you can, honey. It doesn't have to be this complex. There's no rules to budgeting. Just set your budget, try your best to stick to it. Keep it moving. Pay your bills on time, keep it moving, okay? I'm doing the save the coins challenge because I just personally don't like logging around coins. And at some point, I will transfer the coins and get it changed out into notes and then probably put it into my saving, one of my savings binders. So with all of that yapping, let's get to stuffing. All right, so groceries, we said we have 28.85, so we're only gonna store 25. And I did go in last night um, and sorted out my wallets, cause you guys know I'm always on stuffing and restuffing, and I was just like, ain't nobody got time for that girl get your shit together so we've got our 25 here going into our groceries oops i don't know how this is going to work because hey ain't no way 25 pounds is going to run me for the next two weeks but we'll see kaylan i'm not putting anything in household we've got 10 pounds left Oh, child, how are you guys doing anyway? How are you guys doing? What's the weather like where you are at? I'm in the UK. We had two days of warmish weather. If you've never been to the UK, it's the land of bipolar weather, honestly. Um, personal Kia, 1735. So we've got 15. And you see, because I set up my envelopes ahead of time, it's so easy to stuff. I'm not here, you know, wasting your time, all right? Because your time is important to me. Okay, personal care. Once again, if you've not given that video a thumbs up, please give our video a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything, it's absolutely free and we do appreciate you and hit that subscribe button whilst you're here as well all right this one is the clothing bit i did spend 40 pounds but i do need to return something to tesco because they left the um tag on it so we do need to return that miscellaneous we've got 14 pounds left but we are going to stuff only the 10 to the, which is this one here. Okay, I think dining out, obviously, we have got 2103 left, so we've got 20. Um, I'm going to take the entire 20 because I'm just going to do that because 
yeah I'm gonna do that okay and I think that's it so groceries I'm not we're not doing clean on yet all right so that's it for our cash envelopes short and sweet guys 16 minutes not bad at all right so let's just all flip through dining out 20 personal care 15 clothing we've got 10 left but we're gonna return some stuff well an item and see how that goes miscellaneous 10 and this is just for random stuff okay household i think that's 10 and Kayland's empty and then groceries we've got 25 um we do still have food in and whatever to cook we've got um I think we've got some salmon, some pork, we've got some chicken, and we've got some butter fillets. So we've got those in. So that's done. But whilst I've got a little bit of time, I want to go through my other binder, which is my sinking fund. No, this is not mine. That's Kayland's. So I... Okay, girl. I want to go through my thinking funds binder which is which is this one here right and just show you guys how much we spent okay so we went legoland we went sea life and right now we've got 128.66 left but it's actually 116.44 left because there's 12 pounds 22 pence unaccounted for i don't know where that money's gone i don't know i don't know listen i wish i had the answers but i don't it's gone somewhere so we've got 116 left for our summer there's a few more things i want to do with Kayla. we want to do a beach day i also want to take him to the fair the fun fair and i also want to take him to the space center and on a train this little train ride thingy so i don't know if i'll have enough money hopefully i do but we'll see how that goes um my goal isn't to fully deplete this at all it will be nice if i have at least 30 pounds left over that would be good because then we'll roll that over um so this is where we're at with the summer 2023 or our holidays fund so that's not bad at all and then all of my other bits are still um pretty much unused so i just wanted to show you guys this because legoland was an absolute dream if you've not been even as an adult go and check it out um take your little ones if you've got little ones trust me just save up for it we didn't do the resort but i think i'm gonna go back and do the resort at some point and you know yolo you only live once anyway that's it guys thank you so much for sticking with me straight through to these almost 19 minutes of footage it probably will be less by the time i edit it but thank you so much i truly appreciate you don't forget to give the video a thumbs up on the way out subscribe also love and like to you guys always and i'll see you in the next video bye